And Yamaria and Tocicello in the black Edel Chris Ferrari came so, so close to winning the race yesterday, losing out just on the final lap. They will be determined to try to take the chance of getting victory here this weekend. And Imola, but it is a great clean start. It's contact with a big hit there for the Audi R8 and also for the Drivex Porsche. Who I think that was a 59 car. That would have been Marcel Tiemann on board of that car. And on the left-hand side is the Drivex Porsche, Miguel Emerel. I think in on board that car, the Portuguese driver, and surely, surely that's going to get us at least a safety car or possibly even a red flag. Yes, a red flag in the background, you can see, has been waved immediately. Probably because there's so much damage across the circuit, so much debris. Well, it's been a pretty spectacular weekend for accidents here at Imola. In the Auto GP, second race of the weekend, a massive start line shunt there. It completely uh, through the whole race card and put some of the championship contenders out and that was uh, one of the top line drivers in Marcel Tiemann on board the car the man who's been so successful at Nürburgring 24 hours was racing there last weekend sharing with Jim Matthews Jim had a spin early on in the race uh, earlier in the weekend and put them a bit further down the order than you would have expected just in the background there you saw the multicolored Audi R8 which is the uh, the car that's being driven by the Dutch crew which didn't actually make the start. You see the Brinkman Motorsport car. Now that is a, a... Oh, and that is the Matt Griffin, Jack Gerber car. So that would be Jack Gerber on, on board that. Wow. And that, I think, is uh, Amaral walking away from the Porsche. That's the most important thing, obviously, is that the drivers are OK. Let's have a look now. You can see on the left-hand side, one of the Villawise Astons moving across. I think perhaps the car in front which I think may have been the CRS car of, of Chris Goodwin and Klaus Hummel checked up a little bit. Let's look in the background. As those two cars in front checked up, it meant that the Aston, the Villois Aston, had to move sharply to the left and just moved across. Now, let's look again. Yes, it is one of the CRS cars in front. And I think maybe what it was is that the Aston was moving from the right-hand side of the circuit to the left quite suddenly, and Tiemann had momentum on the Aston, was much quicker at that stage, and therefore had nowhere to go. Now the